Okay, um, welcome. This is for the uh, Water Science Pop-Ups. My name is Rolf Hart from Delft University. Um, and what we got here is a collaborative project from a lot of scientists uh, around the world. Um, we made a Rube Goldberg machine. This machine pumps around water and it does it in an overly complex way, but we're demonstrating different principles. So different um, colleagues of mine made one foot tiles. Each tile shows something related to water. For example, uh, in here I made a little fountain. You can see the fountain will eh. You can see this fountain will work as long as there's water in the water tower. You may have one of these at campus. Um, something completely else, the fountain feeds in here into a Venturi tube. So the Venturi tube uh, has water pressure measurements in here. So you will see that the water pressure is lower in this one uh, because the water has to go faster. Well, then the Venturi tube feeds and it's going to take some time to fill it completely up in here. And this is percolation through groundwater because groundwater is one of the biggest sources of water that feeds our rivers worldwide. Um, okay, then a completely different setup. In here we have a flow meter. I just turned it on. Um, this will show the amount of liters in gallons. So as soon as we have, ha have hit one liter over here, you'll uh, show you see a one. As soon as we've hit a gallon, you'll see a one at the gallons. Evan, can you fill up the... We're losing a lot of water there. Um, and then something else completely. This fills into here, which is now not filling fast enough. This is percolation. You can see the bubbles forming in here because we jet the water in and the water that's jetted in here gets more air because of that. Finally, this goes on here and this is what we call a hydraulic jump. If you think water cannot move uphill, it just moves uphill here because it's super critical as we call that. Okay, then we go all the way over here. This is a dosing siphon made by Grady from Practical Engineering. Go check out his YouTube channel. So if you fill it up, this is how a toilet works. It completely drains in one go. See? Uh, okay, and then the water siphon fills this one, which is also nice. You can see there's different holes in here, and the lower the hole, the further the water squirts, because there's more water pressure in there. Let's just fill the siphon up one more kill to show how that goes. Go. So it empties again, it fills up here again, and you see here the different ones go further out, the lower they are, because they have more water level. And as this sinks in, you see that those are going away. Finally, we have here the opens box, which is kind of the same as the dosing siphon. You just fill it up with water, and then it's detected in here that there's water. That will turn on those two perspeltic pumps, which will fill this cup. And this is something that scientists would use if they need to do a measurement where they need to have an exact dose of water for sampling, for example, the water quality. Well, this was made by scientists from all over the world. Thank you very much. <laughs> this was cool. <laughs> ah, one liter! Let's see that! So we got one liter going through, and in uh, 20 minutes, we'll probably have a gallon going through. <laughs> the tiles for this Rube Goldberg machine were made by the people at the Opens Lab at Oregon State University, led by John Selker. They were made by the people of the Department of Bioproducts and Biosystem Engineering in the group of Pete Machado at the University of Minnesota. They were made by me from uh, Civil Engineering and Geoscience in TU Delft. And they were made by Grady Hill House from the YouTube channel Practical Engineering. A big shout out to all of these. Last minute construction on site in San Francisco was done by Hannah, Lynn and me. And I hope next year we fill up the remaining tiles and this sheet has more logos. Thank you.